Hello, welcome to Jerome Davison TV. I'm your host, Jerome Davison. Thank you for joining me today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Hey, what did I tell y'all? That this dude from Tennessee, this, uh, this Tennessee rep, this Democrat guy, the dude, Justin Pearson, I told you he's thirsty. He, he wants power. And when you want power and you and you hate America and, and you want to be in a position of power, you become a Democrat shield. You fake the funk. You pretend that you want to help black people and that, you know, it's all about black, black, black. Well, Justin Pearson is nothing but a mentally ill, power hungry, thirsty kid. OK, I mean, from from watching the video that I'm going to show you in a second, I don't understand why the Democrats want power so much. Because they get in position, they say they're going to help the people, they say you're going to do stuff for the people. They don't lower taxes, they make taxes higher. They say they're going to um, relieve blacks and minorities from oppression. They oppressed it even more. You look at the native communities, you look at the, the reservations, oppression. And, uh, nothing's better. It's all worse. You go into black communities where there's Democrat ran, Democrat uh, governed cities, oppression, shooting, looting killing, all, all that. It's, it's never better. The education is not the same. The incomes aren't the same. It's oppression. All right. So they thirst for power so that they can hurt and harm people. This dude, Justin Pearson, he's too thirsty for power. I mean, he'll do anything. And that, that should be a warning for, for people. When you see a politician doing any and everything, that they're changing their message, they're switching from, from a policy that they say they believe in over to something else, are they doing like this guy here? You're doing this act and then you put on, you come from being the, the, the polished white kid, sounding like the polished white kid, to being the black power, to Martin Luther King. I have a dream. And democracy. Talking like an old slave. This dude, he hasn't been, listen, I didn't go through the civil rights time. I was born in 70. This guy is far from that. This dude was born in the 90s. But I'm going to show you this video where he's sounding like he, he was born, had come through that time where black preachers preach with, with the black cadence, you know, like Martin Luther King Jr., you know, all, all that stuff, the, the black preachers from back then, because they didn't have the music and stuff that, you know, they do now. I'm a preacher, too, and I don't, I don't talk, no, 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 democracy, hello, America. This is crazy. Watch this. The Tennessee State House. You may have seen him. But you may not know what Justin Pearson was like before his transition. Back in 2016, Justin Pearson was an earnest young student at Bowdoin, the whitest college in the whitest state in America, a place that costs 60 grand a year for no obvious reason, a rich kid's school. Here's what Justin Pearson looked like then as he ran for president of student government. I'm Justin J. Pearson, and I'm running for president of campaign this year. One has to do with representation. How can we represent all voices in a conversation? I want to bring together different voices, dissenting voices, voices that may be more liberal or more conservative, in order that we can reach a point of sort of the radical middle where conversation and dialogue happens and growth happens. Join the People's Pearson campaign and let's chart ourselves to a better future. I want to bring everyone together said Justin Pearson, in a voice that if you closed your eyes, you could easily imagine coming from a suburban orthodontist. Justin Pearson wasn't white, that's probably how he got into Bowdoin in the first place, but he did a fantastic impression of it. What a nice young man! Has he considered the apprenticeship program at Citibank? That was the old Justin Pearson, before his transition. Here he is now on the floor of the Tennessee State House. All hope seemed to be lost. Representatives were thrown out of the state house. Democracy seemed to be at its end. Seemed like the NRA and gun lobbyists might win. But oh, that was good news for us. I don't know how long this Saturday in the state of Tennessee might last. But oh, we have good news, folks. We've got good news that Sunday always comes. What? What sense did that make? Good news, folks. Democracy. Sunday always comes. Yes, mamas, I want the biscuits with the syrup on it. And he went from being this, hi, I'm Justin Pearson. And I want all love for all the world. I want all the world to, to with the, he changed his whole face, grew his afro out. Just, just, uh, 
that's a guy that you don't want to get in power, okay? Because this dude, if he gets into Congress, U.S. Congress, he will be an AOC times 10, okay? Don't give him any power. Don't vote for this guy. I mean, what is he talking about? Is he talking about lowering gas prices? Is he talking about lowering the price of food? That This guy, he said he want to help the black community, right? Why is he talking against guns? Why is the attack on guns? Why shouldn't why shouldn't he focus on the solution in the black community, getting rid of the criminal element, that the justice system should operate the way the justice system should operate, right? They should make sure that the criminals don't get out and go free. They should make sure that there should be better housing, make sure that there should be education going on. You understand? These are some things, that's that's some starting ground for the black community. But he wants to talk about the Democrat talking points is to take away the guns from the citizens, not the criminals. Not you, know, you going after the NRA? The NRA hadn't done anything. The NRA hadn't shot anybody. But you want to take away the guns. That's that's Democrat stuff. That's him. He's a chameleon. He's thirsty for power. He should be avoided. Okay? Black people don't fall for the okie doke anymore. I mean, you got people coming in there like Hillary Clinton talking about the hot sauce. I always got to have my hot sauce. Oh, my Lord. All of them put on these voices to get around black people. I mean, aren't you tired of getting smoked? Aren't you tired of being dogged out? These people come around, this stuff is it's a joke to them. It's a joke. All you got to do is put on that old black slave voice and put on some music and give you some hot sauce and you and you get the vote. They don't even have to do that. They just put their name on the ticket as a Democrat and they got it. Come on, be more intelligent than that. All right? Don't vote for Justin Pearson for nothing. Get that guy out of there. I'll see you all on the next one. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.